Okay, now we're going to make the name of our restaurant for our menu along with an object, an image that we're going to trace with a photo. This is all gonna be done using Google Draw. So I'm in my drive, go to new, Google Drawing. I have a new Google Drawing that I'm using right here. Right, let's call it menu drawing. So I, my name of my restaurant is going to be Eats and I would like a picture of a spoon. So I'm gonna do a Google search of a spoon. Make sure you put JPEG. If you do not, it'll give you something that you do not want that will not work for you. So if you wanna do an image, go to images, you get, an, you get an image search. I'm going to take this one and then I'm going to save image as. I'm going to make sure I'm in my, go over here. I could do it in downloads. I want to keep it in pictures. We'll call this spoon two. See, it's being saved as a JPEG. So it's saved. Now I'm going into my menu. I'm going to do file. I'm going to do insert image, upload from computer. I'm looking for my pictures. And I'm looking now for, I can do this. So it's details. Just get the, I just get the names. All right. So it's spoon two. Okay, there it is. There's my spoon. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put the word eats over it. Okay, so that's my plan. I'm going to take this. And now I'm going to trace this image. I'm go over here to a curve. I am going to make this bigger so I can get a better attack on it. And now taking my line, which that's on, I am going to trace this image. There is a spoon, which I'm going to use for my logo. Um, let's see, let's go back to fit. All right, so now I don't really need this anymore. So take this and I'm going to delete it. So now I have a spoon. Okay, this is my spoon. Your drawing will look a lot nicer than that, but that's my spoon. Okay, in order for it to be a finished thing, so if you wanted it so that it was one object, you have to make sure that you do one complete line. For instance, if you were to use this and come back to the beginning, it fills in, right? So if you want it to be a color, you're going to want to do that. Okay. Although I could add color to this. Another way I could do this is I can actually get some shapes in here, right? And I could just say I wanted kind of like a color under behind it, like that. That might look kind of cool, actually, if I do that. And then I do order, send to back. And then I want to do something. Let's see. Let's get rid of the border. Border color. Let's make it transparent, right? So now it's just a color, and I want this to be like this kind of yellowy color. Okay, let's see how that looks. All right, now I'm gonna add the text on it. So I'm going to get the text tool. I want it to say eats like right across here. So I'm going to write the word eats. So I'm going to choose it. Okay, so now I'm going to, let's say I want it to be bigger. There we go. All right. 
good. I want to change the font to something more interesting. I want that. There we go. Okay, so that is, I want to, I'm going to choose both of these together. I'm going to shrink that down. I'm holding shift so it shrinks together. I don't like that. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, so that's my logo, as wonky as it is. I'm going to download it as a PNG. Okay, and that's in my pictures. Menu drawing, PNG, save. Okay. So now if I go into my drive and I say I put, I have a new Google slide that I'm going to be adding this onto. I'm going to insert my image, upload from the computer, my pictures, and it was called menu drawing. So I open that up and there it is. That is my menu drawing. And you'll see that it is, you know, go on top of it like that. I can type something on top of it. I can change the background color. If I, if I, this, if this entire thing background was a different color, see it's transparent, you can see right through it. So. That's how you're going to make yourself a logo with a, um, a nice a logo, kind of a, with an image and a, some text.